guys, Mike here, Entrepreneur Army. I've been uh, working and I know I haven't been making as many videos. It takes a lot of time. I've been spent. Anyway, let's talk about uh, pressure wash. Mark Marquez though. Three months ago, I bought a pressure washer, a DeWalt pressure washer, 3600 PSI, things of beauty. Then I bought this thing three months later. I recently purchased this. You can take all of this away from me, all the money. The new house I have. We did $300,000 in profit in the last three months. You can take it all away and leave me with this DeWalt pressure washer over here, and I'll have it again in another four months. So I just got, uh, I'm gonna go do some uh, paver sealing. I got, I'm getting my supplies ready. Um, sand, and I got my cart, but I wanted to talk about one thing. Sometimes bleach, Red Raider, EBC, the greaser the best of the best you know the next you know gurus favorite soap.com whatever you want to call it sometimes that stuff don't get stuff off and you need to strip you know things like paint um i was stripping latex paint and this thing worked beautifully this is for stripping sealer off pavers um so if there's old like chalkiness on pavers this is perfect this is from cobble this is surface logics cobble strip okay those of you to watch this channel know that when i do paver sealing i use cobble lock which is i don't know if i got a bucket yeah i got some old buckets over there but anyway it's a good sealer it's a two-part sealer they make other they make the uh, penetrating and the impregnating sealers and the uh, they probably have oil-based sealers, but I use the water-based two-part uh, urethane sealer. It's called Cobble Lock and also Matte Cobble Lock and uh, the one for the travertine. Um, can't think of the name. But anyway, sometimes, you know, you need to strip and that's a whole nother job in itself. I'm going to show you in this video. We clean the driveway. Um, we did a few... Uh, screen enclosures too i got some tips for that but um yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video i know i haven't been around too much but um i appreciate those of you to do uh comment positive things um sometimes you know when you're doing this and you you, you put i put my heart into this so I don't, I don't, I make pennies on uh, YouTube. They pay me nothing. I mean, literally, I make more in a day than I do in six months, probably, sometimes. So, with YouTube. But anyway, those, you know, there's a lot of negative people out there and haters. So, if you can't do your own research with the guidance of people who make YouTube videos, you're never going to make it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe comment positive actually negative i don't care but appreciate you watching peace Another thing, the uh, homeowner hired a, he straight up said he hired a crackhead to paint. Well, I guess he didn't know he was a crackhead. It was a friend of a friend. He ended up being a crackhead, like legit was smoking crack. But he was painting baseboards in his garage uh, with white paint and spilled it all on the uh, driveway by the garage. So this is stripping that off too.
so yeah we're do <clears throat> doing another screen closure this week um the dirtier the better the, the greener the better um yeah this will all clean up really nice usually uh, a nice one two percent house mix will get all this and a ball valve will clean it up really well but look at the rungs see all that that'll <clears throat> that'll look real good when this is done uh, like I said we've done a couple this week actually um, this one's nice and neat luckily not much but you get some people um, I did one the other day and they had stuff everywhere so take that into price consideration when doing screen enclosures because you know people use them as uh, storage lockers kind of so that is not fun having to move all that stuff around so you know sometimes doing the in-person estimates help but this one is just nice and green it'll clean up good all this will clean up good so we'll do like a little after walk around afterwards so we'll start here kind of do like a look around also guys you always want to do your before videos for number one you can take still photos make before and after photos or you can do even do before and after videos um, but also if you notice anything that may be you know damaged or something you'll have it on video I always do it with I do it every time so there's no reason why you shouldn't do it before video on a roof anywhere because you get the before and afters and you also have, it's an insurance to make sure you know if something was broken you have um, footage of it so and like I said while you're doing that you know first thing you do is start the water my tanks are filling now just gotta turn on and we rolling so here we go uh, went from green to white of course the Sun is at a messed up angle but there we go. One, two percent mix, guys. Sometimes if it's not cleaning right away, you could do another coat. Or just give, you know, coat it once, but give it a good amount of time to actually clean. Let the uh, soap do the work. So we're wrapping this one up. It's about the rain, so just in time, just in time. Whoop dee. All right, so any any reel, it all depends on what you have as your swivel. Uh, I've had the stainless Titans, the manual ones before, like this, and the swivel don't last forever, regardless of the brand. But what I'm telling you is, I just store my hose on the reel. I pull off, you know, this is 100, 300 foot, but I pull off, you know, 100 foot or 200 foot, and I clamp it to here. Same with the soft washer. This is one big piece. I pull it off. I got banjo fittings on the end and I just pop it on the outlet of my pump. So none of the chemicals or water is running through the hose reels. The garden hose, same thing. I pull off what I need and I hook it right here to fill up my tanks. So 
I don't plumb it through the swivel and the uh, whatever you call that. I forget, I can't think of it. But anyway, so I just store the hoses on there, pull off what I need, plug it up and go. If you don't have one of these turbo nozzles, I think it's uh, Sutner. I got it from Lori Smith. But man, these are, these are where it's at. And then also these little containers, I keep talking about them, you gotta get one. Faux show.